Hey guys, uh, Dartanis here, episode 40 of our playthrough. Big 4 0. I realized I was completely wrong. I didn't have to come up here and do this. Um, I looked it up because I tried seeing if it was going to happen and it didn't. And so I looked up again and read it more thoroughly. And the quest I wanted to do was. Um, actually here in the first place I should have just went with my original thought I hope you're finding the city in proper order thing um, I don't know if we can get to this at night though Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence you you are the person what is it I need you seek to talk my to. child which of the eight divines you serve we are devoted to the goddess Mara who gave mortals the gift of love that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. May I receive her blessing? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Just tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman... Fast read. <laughs> this is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay. It's all my fault, really, but the quest thing had what said it the be? first step was to Can talk to her. I didn't realize it meant get the quest from someone else first, and then go talk to her. Ah, uh, tell off when I look up quests. Anyway, so now we have everything fast traveled, we can just go. Okay. That's right, I killed the cultist. I was planning on reloading it. Um, but didn't. So. After you talk to the Greybeards, there's a, a, a fight and everything. She's or not fight, but... Are you the one sent by Mara? I am. Yes, what is troubling you, my child? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. My father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Let's talk to the parents, find out what the hell's going on. Sounds like a pretty classic case, but sounds like I also need to sleep first. They're all going to get locked behind the door. Okay, sleep till yes. morning. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you Wide can chop. Arm. That's a horrible last name. Sorry for that. Alright, let's talk to the parents. They should be at least awake, right? Somewhere. Yes. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Hmm. Oh, okay. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to rift him without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. 
Sure, leave. Mom's Everyone cool. else does. Oh, shit, he's right here. You ever... The daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. You're a little overbearing, dude. Don't ask me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With you. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. But for now, wouldn't stop talking about you. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Hmm. You, why do you want her to say so bad? Look around here. There's not much left. It used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Rifton for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverston? I think she'll get over it. You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. You have to let Fastrid follow her heart. You can't tell her what to do. She's our only child, Boaty. Am I to throw her to the wolves? You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverstead, what then? No. No, I can't bear the thought. <laughs> okay, yeah, she should definitely... Uh, yeah, she should definitely go. I'm doing. Oh, right, so. well, which one's which? Do which? There's anything I can get you, just okay. let me know. I like your name, but. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother? You don't look okay. like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? <clears throat> Sorry. For the language, eh? Uh, anything you can tell me? Uh, he said he talks about Sasha. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boaty send you to me? She said you should elope. I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us and it will be unpleasant. I said she'd handle him. She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Thastrid. Post haste. Years. I wonder what the uh, need. Need something? Anyway. Okay, so what's the next step in the quest? Oh. Is she in here? Get in there, dude. Go on. Everyone else is watching you. Okay, good. What can I do for you, friend? Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? We must leave. Your father will never approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. <laughs> Where will we go? To Rift you in my pet. Fast How you'll adore you can't the city. tell her what to do. Oh, and to She's be with you. Child, you. I'll make the preparations immediately. To the wolves? You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. Awkward. And if she decides to leave. Hello, guys doing a welcome, bad job. Hello again. No, I can't bear the thought. Nothing. Farewell. Okay, well, what does the thing say then? Return to. Oh, return to. What's her name? Okay. Be careful! <laughs> They'll leave tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? 
whole bunch of chaos because I realized I wanted more magic resistance. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. So, is that the news? complete that quest or what? Welcome to the Temple of Mara. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Uh, I helped the young lovers and average did. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does your fire is warming? I see you are eager to carry the light. Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. Oh. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Oh, right. Let's go get that. Yeah, I've definitely never done this quest before. Alright. <clears throat> Often while I play, I stay out of the... Uh, the temples and such, so I miss some things like that. Okay. I didn't even read through the quest very far, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing either. I have things to study. What is it? You apparently need to find love, man. Uh, I have been sent by Mara to Adio. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Really? What? Ah, uh, you see. I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? No. Well, suffice to say she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. <laughs> My mouth goes dry, and as I start to shake, I could never hope to approach her. You just need something. You're probably overthinking this. That may be the case, <laughs> but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. <laughs> is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's go seek advice from Ingvar. Okay. Down here. Down. Uh. Treasury House is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Get you. You just let old Nana know. <laughs> all right, dear. The heck, man! Your manservant is making your stuff for you. Bloody here? enough for you, outsider. Bloody enough. Uh, what? Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? Oh. Our blood's always better. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. Okay. Uh, I've heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? <laughs> Uh, it's not for me, it's for Calcimo. Calcimo? Is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. <laughs> As for what she might like, 
I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? <laughs> sure, why not? Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. I guess it makes sense. Alright, we... What the heck? Curious. Unless he hates the guy. I don't think he does. I made him out reading all that. I'll marry to thone our silver blood. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Who is Felino? Call. Felino. Oh. Someone in here. I need hardly ever here. I wonder what they're going on. The only thing we need to do is here to you. see the yard. Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markar? Understand? Uh, I am a, uh, traveler. I have questions. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Things are bad, Eatman. Our forces are I, uh, have a poem I'd like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Cosimo. Please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Gather the legion and drive those this is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. <laughs> Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Deliver her letter. Of acceptance. I have things to study. What is it? Um, I have a letter from Feline. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Uh, okay. What? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Calcimo. See what uh, inspires. Hopefully, there's not a second scripted event going on during the same time. Pauline, I. Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. <laughs> My Jarl. We need to discuss the state of Markarth's collapsing trade with the old Warren city underneath. All right, well, that was funny. All right, let's get back to uh, Rift Inn. Turn in our quest. I was gonna drop off the, yeah. Things to Elixir's place, but I don't have one in it. I like to just drop them off. Blessings of Mara upon you. <laughs> Mira? Hello, friend. Oh, you're just a. Alright then. I did follow her. But I didn't recognize you. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. 
I help the forlorn lovers of Margaret. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. Really? For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Oh, okay. the dawn surely Put opens on upon the you. Of Mara. Okay. Amulet. Mara. You must bear its light that all may see. Talk to the long dead lover. How may I help you, my son? You are. What is it you help? seek, my no. child? Anyone? Yeah, here. <laughs> Talk to a long dead lover. along the way. Ah, jeez. Right. Well, you don't see that every day. A, dr a giant riding a dragon? Huh. Get the heck out of here. I ain't messing with that. Actually, just why don't we do that? No, at least running with invisibility. I don't know how much that helps. We have muffled sound though, and invisibility, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going awfully fast. Because we are like. Supreme. I just hate when I get somewhere and then it's like, oh hey, there's like a million people trying to kill you suddenly. And I'm like, darn. Now I'm dead. What? Come on. have any arrows they glow due to a mod <clears throat> which is helpful anyway let's get over here and let's find out what this long dead lover is anyone about anyone I need to kill I would rather just sneak attack you if I have to kill you Assuming I don't have to kill you, though. Talk to Ruki. What are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with Yukar's men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over everybody, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard. 
Um. Crap. I don't see any bodies here. I don't have time for your foolishness. Either help me or be gone. He must be here somewhere. <laughs> I'll handle the dragon now. I didn't realize that dragon fight was going to carry over. Who else? Damn, a ghost has been killed. Hunter troll. Okay, I'm going to be sad if a lot of people don't see that, because that is, that was hilarious. <laughs> Just, I was minding my own business, and then <laughs> talking to this random ghost, <clears throat> and uh, okay, now what was I doing? Oh, what it didn't count? <sighs> she got interrupted. I'm I've to please help me look. He has a bright well, that's why he was red beard. Are you a fool? Look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrir. He must be here somewhere. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I'm fin He's a thousand feet this way. You're way off, lady. He's way over here. Way, way back over this way. Whoa, whoa. I can't believe that happened. That was hilarious. That was great. Just chatting with a ghost and then boom. Like, jump scared me. Uh, <coughs> Stop coughing. Sorry, I'm getting over the cold. Into Neo mode. A bit. Alright, she almost be there. Wow, you were way off. You would never find him. If I didn't have this quest marker, there's no way. Your wife is looking for you. Rookie, where is she? Uh, west, in the plains over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it though. Nah. Why don't you like camping here? Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. City ducks. You didn't make it to the battle. Let me take you to... If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Yeah, whatever, dude. You did. Confused. Ah, another thousand back this way. Come on, guys. Well, stay away. make me run a thousand feet, don't you?
Ghost of Fall. <clears throat> it still counts, right? I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not waiting for him to walk over here a thousand feet. That would be ridiculous. There's a spirit. Where are you going? Back here. He's right there. Okay, okay. They're scripting, that's what they're doing. That's right. Fenrir, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Ruki, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. Well, okay. Get back to Riften. Okay. Now we've Someone who buys carrying valuables, eh? My thieving sense is tingling, is what you're telling me? That's that skill I was talking to you about. So let me just save it before I pickpocket somebody here, but. Ah, it's right in the light, too. Eesh. Yeah, see, he's got way more stuff on him. Uh, and it keeps jumping when you uh, start stealing from him. I don't really want half of this stuff on in this instance, but... Uh, could increase my pickpocketing skill. Anyway. I believe the more... It like, keeps bouncing a couple times. Or if you do it within a certain amount of time, and then... Anyway, that well, wasn't what we were doing, you? but I decided to show it, since it just happened to be there at that point. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. What is it you seek, my child? <clears throat> um, I help the long dead lovers find each other. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you, so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Take care of yourself. Okay. Um. My sources were not lying to me. Should have gave me something. Yes. Resist magic. 15%. Now I'm an agent of Mara. And that's a permanent... Permanent 15% increased magic resistance. And that's all magic. It covers... Everything. Lightning, fire, frost, everything. So... On top of my 40% from my cloak, that's... Getting up there. Alright. And that was also the quest of Book of Love... Okay, so yeah, that is a good point to end this episode at. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. Um, bye.